Representing Colombia, Diego Campos. So, Diego, when you're ready, have fun, Chop. wow the judges. Thank you very much. Go ahead. Can I please have my music? Time. Hello, judges. The quality of a speciality coffee has been in a constant evolution and improvement from seat to cup. However, we should not stop our innovation efforts at the cup because that is where the consumer experience starts. So today, I want to take one more step. Instead of leaving the espresso to speak for itself, I will complement it with a multisensory stimulation to enhance the tasting experience. It will be fun, engaging, and immersive. So let's get started. The coffee I will with you today is something really special. This coffee is a species called Eugenioides, and it was rescued from a genetics lab. It is by far the most surprising and fascinating coffee I have ever tasted. This coffee is produced in Colombia, in Finca Las Nubes, at 2,000 meters. Growing at this high altitude, it slows down the ripening of the cherries, which create a greater concentration of sugars, lipids, and organic acids. This makes this coffee taste simply phenomenal with an unbelievable sweetness and amazing mouthfeel, a juicy acidity, and a delicious tropical fruit flavors. Julian Olguin is a producer, and he has developed a natural ecosystem in Finca Las Nubes. The idea is to replicate the wild and native growing conditions of the forest of East Africa, where this coffee originally comes from. My coffee has a natural process with eight days of anaerobic fermentation. This coffee was right to 11% over rotating red beds. These rotating red beds are inside of a greenhouse with fans to slow down the drying process. This carefully processing and dry makes my, makes my coffee taste sweeter and with more flavor clarity. Judges, I found the best sensory expression of my coffee with a 20% extraction and 8% TDS. Today, I am dosing 20 grams of coffee to pull out 46 grams of espresso with a setting water at 19, one degrees. Today, I'm using the same brewing parameters for all the drinks you will enjoy today. Okay, my friends, today I want to take your espresso tasting experience to the whole new level by stimulating all your sense. I will stimulate your sense of a smell with the aroma of a cloud or dry ice that highlights the tropical fruit flavors. Your sense of touch will be stimulated with a sphere that represents the round body 
and a slippery texture. Your sense of hearing and sight, the music and the video that amplifies the sweetness. And finally, your sense of taste will be stimulated by tasting the flavors in espresso. So guys, tasting nuts. Very high sweetness that feels like brown sugar. Beautiful flavors of cacao nibs, passion fruit, papaya, and tangerine with hint of malt. The bitterness is low. Acidity is medium with a juicy sensation. The tactile experience is just amazing. It has a medium round body with a silky and a slippery texture that comes your palate with a long lasting finish. Take the spoon, stir three times, and you can return this book on the white cup. The card in front of you has information of the coffees you will enjoy today. Keep. Again, brown sugar, cacao nibs, passion fruit, papaya, and tangerine with hint of malt. Hello, my friend. You're just for this tasting experience, I need you place your scotch sheet on the space inside of the boxes in front of you. Thank you. Here you go, Michael. Thank you. Now, please. Tap the play button on the tablet, follow the instructions, put on your headphones, and enjoy this amazing experience. Okay, my friends, now you can grab your score sheet so you can score my espresso. I will get started with your meal course. Georges, we roasted this coffee 11 days ago with a loading roaster. Total roast time was eight minutes with an 18% development. To increase the tactile, we extended the major stage for three and a half minutes. And the development stage was extended for 90 seconds to bring out the beautiful sweetness and the fruit of this coffee. This is a 3.5% hog that has been frozen and dripping in this container. This reduces the water and increases the sugars, fat, and proteins. The result is a more concentrated milk that complements the sweetness and the tactile of my coffee. This milk is produced here in Italy. I'm steaming to 50 degrees to get even more sweetness from the milk. Okay, my friends, the eugenoides combined with this milk in a ratio of one to three tastes just amazing. So you will enjoy beautiful flavors of butter cookies. Mm. 
Nougat. Caramel. Almond. And cocoa. With a beautiful tactile experience that has a creamy and a fluffy sensation that feels like melted ice cream. There you go, please enjoy. There you go, my friend, please enjoy. Thank you. So, again, butter cookies, nougat, caramel, almond, and cocoa. With a beautiful, tasty experience. With a fluffy, with a creamy and a fluffy sensation that feels like melted ice cream. There you go, my friend, please enjoy. Please enjoy. Thank you. Okay, judges, coming up, the signature drink. The first ingredient is the four shots of espresso I made at the start of my presentation. Let them cooling down to open up the flavors and leave the acidity. The second ingredient gives a balance and a fruit sweetness to the drink. It is a frozen cherry reduction, made by using fresh cherries over low heat for 30 minutes. Then I strain it and frozen on this funnel and adding 12 grams. The third ingredient feels like ripe mango and sweet passion fruit in the drink, but it is a pineapple and a star fruit reduction, made by using one part of pineapple and two parts of a star fruit over low heat for 30 minutes. Then I strain it and frozen on this funnel. I am adding 24 grams. The fourth ingredient provides a sugar cane and a blackberry sweetness and contribute with a texture. It is a frozen cherry reduction. No, sorry, excuse me. It is a frozen eugenoides mucilage reduction made by using, made by heating the mucilage for 10 minutes at 80 degrees. I'm using eight grams. Now, I will homogenize the drink at 700 RPMs to mix all the ingredients. The fifth ingredient gives a cold, refreshing feeling with a flavor of peach. It is an eugenoides cold brew. I have it right here in frozen spheres. I made the eugenoides cold brew with tony water in a ratio of 1 to 8. 12 hours total brew time. So my friends, tasting nuts, cacao nibs, ripe mango and passion fruit with a cold refreshing feeling with a flavor of peach. You will also enjoy a sugar cane and a blackberry sweetness with a lasting finish. So my friends, you are ready to go. Just sip from the straw and enjoy this amazing drink. Our five senses 
allow us to experience the world around us. And it can influence how we enjoy what we eat and drink. So let's make intentional efforts to stimulate the senses of a coffee consumers so we can elevate their tasting experience and make the specialty coffee even more special. Thank you very much. Time. And time for Diego from Colombia. Thank you very much, Diego. What a wonderful presentation to start the day on the 2021 finals of the Barista Championship. We will have a short break with a video of a sponsor and we will be back in a couple of seconds.